AR3 can actually uh, work towards saving lives in two different ways. Uh, on one side, on the, f on the force that's being used, so instead of sending a helicopter or sending a, a vessel to the place uh, uh, that, that, that needs to be observed to the hot zone, you can just send a drone, send the AR3, without putting the pilots in jeopardy. It provides support uh, to many types of different missions, including uh, pollution uh, monitoring, oil spill detection, um, we are using it or we are preparing it to be used for illegal immigration control, uh, fisheries control, etc. We are, so far, we have been um, involved in multiple types of missions in multiple types of regions. So in Europe, we are going to apply it together with the Portuguese Navy uh, in Frontex, which is protecting the, the, the Mediterranean border of, of Europe. We've been testing it extensively out of the coast of Africa and in the Gulf of Guinea, uh, especially in, in trials for uh, anti-piracy uh, and smuggling uh, operations. Another thing is, for example, when you're talking about search and rescue, it can very, very quickly be on the area that you're trying to survey and where you're trying to find a vessel or trying to find people instead of taking several hours to go there. So it's very fast to deploy and very quick to arrive at place. So in those two sense, of course, it can save lives.